and welcome to Kirchi Crochet Hooks. Please enjoy our free tutorials with just one of a 24 part series on teaching you how to crochet. Subscribe to start receiving our 24 courses that are delivered to your email inbox every few days. By the time you're done, you'll know the ins and outs of crochet. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So now let's get crocheting with Curtsy. And welcome back to the Curtsy Crochet Hook program. Today is lesson number four. Today we're going to work on the half double crochet. So we hopefully that you kept your project from before where you were doing single crochet because we're going to start building on top of this project and start doing half double crochet. So let's get started. So let's get started where we left off and last time we were actually single crocheting in the last lesson. So this time we're going to half double crochet. So let's rotate our material in our hands. Okay, so this is called the material. I always sometimes stay, instead of saying yarn or fabric, I just say material. So let's rotate it in our hands and we're now going to double crochet. So we're going to start by working up the next row. Always, 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 when you start the next row, you will always chain two. Single crochet was always chaining one. In half double crochet, it's always two. So let's do that. So one and two. Now unlike other stuff that we've done before is that normally in double crochet we would jump over to the very next stitch which is right here. But in half double crochet we're actually going to still go like we did in the single crochet where we go into the first one that is part of that chain. So it's so what we do is we go and we do like a rowboat like we're chaining and we're just going to wrap the yarn okay, and going into the very same stitch where this is originating out of. Okay, So when we go in there will be two stitches or two strings on top, sorry, and what we're going to just do is then pull through. You will have three left on your crochet hook and what we want to do is grab the material and pull it under. See how I twisted down the actual crochet hook? I want to do that so it can just slide through and we're going to slide through all three at one time and that is a double, or sorry, a half double crochet. So now we're just going to move along and so you can kind of see that this here is part of the chain. This is actually half double crochet and you kind of can see that it's kind of bunching up on the end and that's just the way it should be. So let's begin as we work our way through the line. So wrapping like a rowboat, wrap, rotate your hook and now come into the very next stitch. Again, you will see two strings on your top. Now the strings in, ne in a few more tutorials, we're going to refer to those strings as the front and the back loops. And we'll learn more about that in a bit. So let's, uh, we have three on our crochet hook now. So let's rotate and pull through all three. So again, rowboat in to the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all three. So rowboat in pull through, pull through all three. This is half double crochet. So where are you going to use half double crochet while you continue to follow along with me? I'm just going to keep working my way through. Half double crochet would be used on a lot of baby products because the posts, which are the distance between this line and the top, get bigger and bigger as we move up in our crochet stitching types, right? So in baby style, a double crochet would be probably too large because the baby's fingers can flip, fit right through. And we just want to keep on going. There's my yarn is caught on something off camera. Rotate in, pull through, pull through all three. So I want to take you to the very end of this, so let's just speed up. I'm not going real time yet. So this is half double crochet as I take you to the end. And most people have problems for when they start and stop their edges. And sometimes people end up with triangle blankets instead of square, or their shaping is just really out of whack. So we're coming near to the end. How many stitches do you think that we have left? Let's get in there. So you got one there, two, and three. You actually have three left on here. You want to look at this like train tracks and you need to make sure that the rails that attach the train rail, like the actual beams that are attaching, are matching. So you got one here, one there, one here, one there, one there, one there. So you actually have three stitches left. And this becomes more obvious when you do double crochet itself. So a lot of people tend to finish right here 
and the fact is is that you haven't gone over enough and even though I'm kind of pulling it out like this using it in your project it would look like it was enough and you have to make sure you get into the final one right on the edge okay and when you go into the edge you want to always make sure you're still grabbing the two strings at one time if you only grab one you'll end up with a big nasty hole so let's begin to turn this material again and work our way up again so remember what we need to do we need to chain two so one and two and remember that we're going to come into the same stitch that we just originated that chain out of so wrapping and in pull through and pull through all three this is half double crochet so let's work our way all the way back then with half double crochet so half double crochet um, so what's the advantage of it it will be a little bit of a tighter stitch um, a lot of hats are usually done with half double crochet because it doesn't leave a lot of gaps for air uh, to pass through to your ears um, it looks a little bit more tidier than double crochet um, it's tighter um, it's also smaller in height wise so therefore if you did a half double crochet blanket it would take you longer or more rows to complete because the height is much smaller so we're going to finish up and I want to show you the ending of this row one more time before we release you and schedule you for the next lesson so we're coming up to the end so let's review again so see how this is sticking out that is not the final when it comes to half double crochet this one is okay so the reason for that is that when you do a half double crochet if you don't put an extra right in the end um, it actually looks like it's missing something okay so we actually only have one stitch left okay this is the rail here this is part of the chain so we want to make sure when we go in we still get our two on top and pull through okay see how that just equaled itself so when we go to turn one more time I literally have a price tag I just noticed that it's probably been there the whole time on this tutorial chaining up two and I want to go into the very same one on the edge pull through all three and work your way back across so continue to work your way all the way back across and when we pick up with the next tutorial we'll begin to double crochet using this exact same sample. So we'll see you in the next lesson. So this is it for now. That was the half double crochet. This was lesson number four. So now we're going to schedule you to get lesson number five. In lesson number five we're going to work on double crochet. Well it's called double crochet over here in North America but it's also referred to as trebles over in the European regions. So let's get started and I'll schedule you for lesson number five right now. We'll see you next time and I'm your host Mikey on behalf of the Curtsy Crochet Hook Program.